In this video, we are going to learn how to install and set up the Prisma ORM version 7, which is the latest version into the Next.js application. Because on this latest version, which is the version 7, there's a couple packages that we have to install when we set up the Prisma, like the .env, like the, I believe, Prisma adapter, and etc. So let's just learn all of that in this video. So here on VS Code, I have already generated the Next.js application. This is just the default theme of Next.js basically. As you can see, everything is just default. So now, what we have to do first is we need to install the Prisma, right? So the way we install Prisma is just like this. So I'm going to copy this, right? Copy and just paste that. npm install as a dev dependency Prisma. You can put at 7 to specify uh, version 7 or you can just remove that to install the latest version. For now, latest version is seven. So it basically just do the same thing. All right, it's done. So now if you take a look on the package.json file, we have this Prisma on the dev dependency and this version seven. So what we have to do next is we need to run npx Prisma init. So this basically will initialize the Prisma. We should see a folder called Prisma in here. And also inside that we have the schema.prisma, right? As you can see, this is the schema.prisma. And also we have the prisma.config.ts. This is basically the config of the prisma. And also we have the environment variable. Great. So now, normally what I'm doing is I'm going to update the database URL, right? So now I'm going to remove all the comment here. And first I'm going to use my... Um, local database PostgreSQL, but next we are going to try to use the database from the Supabase. Okay. So let's try to use this uh, on my local. So let's just make sure my PostgreSQL is running. All right. So I'm going to remove all this database URL default right here and paste my PostgreSQL on my local, right? As you can see, this is my user. This is my password. And then uh, my Postgres scale or my local is running on 5432 and the database I'm going to create Prisma demo DB. Great. So after that, what we have to do is we're going to run npx Prisma generate. Before I hit enter, as you can see here on this um, prisma.config.ts or I think on the schema, right? On the schema, we have this output of Prisma client. Right, so this basically will output the Prisma client on the app slash generated slash Prisma. So it basically will create the generated folder inside this app. For now, we don't have that, right? But if I hit enter, it basically will generate that folder. As you can see here, we have the generated and slash Prisma. Great, so now we have the generated Prisma client here. And after we generated the Prisma client, the next thing is we need to run npx Prisma DB push, right? This basically will push all the schema into the database. But for now, we don't have any schema here. So let's try to create just the dummy um, schema here. So I'm going to create this um, dummy post, right? Model called post. We have this ID, title, content, create at. Super simple. And then now, we can run the npx prisma db push. When I'm running that, as you can see, your database is now in sync with your prisma schema. Great. So now we can run npx, I believe, prisma studio. So let's hit enter. And this basically will open the local host 51212. 51212, 12, right? So let's just open that. And as you can see, this is the um, that Prisma Studio, and as you can see, we have this post table, right? Just one table for now. That's nice. At least it works, right? So the next thing what we have to do is we need to initialize the Prisma client. As you can see, this is the old way to initialize a Prisma client, right? And now we have to use this Prisma PG, which is Prisma adapter, right? So let's first create the folder. Normally what I'm do is I'm going to uh, make a directory, right? I'm going to make a directory called lib folder. And then inside that I'm going to touch or create file called db.ts file and hit enter. As you can see, we have this lib and then db.ts file. Great. So in here, I'm going to just copy and paste my uh, initialize Prisma client. Here we go. 
as you can see this prisma client it should become from the app slash generated slash prisma slash client but as you can see now we have this error right but if you uh, like confuse where this come from there's a couple of uh, block that show me this is the best way to initialize prisma client basically so you can open this block right here on the prisma.io slash docs etc i'm gonna put link on the description as you can see this is basically have some problem so you can just read all of that but anyway the recommended solution is uh this one right here right just create something like this so uh yep that's what we're doing right here anyway but of course you can always um, initialize the prisma client like this you can just export the prisma like this it also works but the problem is uh right here right this basically will do multiple prisma client instance on development mode so that's why in here we check if we're not on the production just do this one right here so anyway you can just read all the block in here to understand what happened as you can see in here we get this error the reason is because this uh, prisma client now expected one argument what the hell is that so we can just go back in here and uh let's see as you can see it's need to have adapter basically so we need to put an object and then here i'm going to say adapter set equals to adapter right adapter so the adapt adapter is basically another variable i'm going to create that on the top in here right and basically this one right here you can just copy and paste that i'm going to copy and paste like this and the prisma pg is basically package right package from here so i'm going to copy that and then paste it here so anyway we have to install this prisma adapter dash pg so we have to say npm install add prisma slash adapter dash pg so after that we should not see this error great it works because we have same name adapter to adapter we can just remove that like this and it should be works so what we have to do now is we are going to get the data from the database and render that on the ui because now we have this prisma right so let's go back to app and then page i'm going to remove all this content here right and just paste this super simple content right here so let's try to run npm run dev and then just close that terminal so anyway here we have this post um, variable post i'm going to setting that to empty array for now and now we can just open localhost 3000 so as you can see we just have post right here right so let's try to get the data from the database so the way we're doing that is here on the post i'm going to set that equals to await right i'm going to say await but of course this component it should be a sync component so great so now we are going to await for the prisma right prisma come from the lib slash tb dot post uh, i'm not sure why i'm not get the post right here automatically so i think the problem is because i create the prisma schema right this model pose and then i'm not run the generate we have to run npx npx prisma generate after we create a model i think that's the problem so let's just try it hopefully that's the problem great so after that we need to run npm run dev and then let's go back to page and now I'm, I'm gonna say prisma dot and as you can see finally we have this post right so let's do post and then i'm gonna grab the find many so it just it basically will grab all the posts great so after that uh, what we have to do is as you can see we still get an error on the terminal the reason is because we don't yet install the prisma client even on the db.ts we're using prisma client from the generated prisma client but we still have to need to install the prisma client package so let's just scroll up and as you can see this is the package name so i'm going to copy that right and then just paste that on the terminal as you can see in here if you're using the prisma orm version 7 you have to also install the prisma client version 7 okay so let's just go back on the package.json file and as you can see it is the prisma version 7 and this is the prisma client also version 7 everything is version 7 great so now we can just run npm run dev and hopefully now there is no error great right so let's just go back in here and i'm going to refresh it 
and as you can see now there's no error but we don't have any post because there is no data so let's go back in here and I'm, I'm gonna run npx prisma studio and I'm going to insert new data on the prisma studio here I'm gonna insert row right let's say title one okay so create at is uh, how to set it now here we go wait set it now and then save changes great so now let's click this save and as you can see row insert successfully now we can go back in here and refresh it as you can see we have title one great right because in here i believe on the page we render that content and also the title but the content is not render i'm not sure so let's go back in here the content is null so let's do this is the content one click save changes and i think it's already there let's try to refresh and here we go right we have this title one so now let's try to use the database from the superbase so let's go to superbase right this is my profile here i'm going to create a new project i'm going to give a name uh let's say prisma 7 demo whatever it is 7 demo and the password i'm going to generate password in here right just copy that and then i'm going to put that on environment variable there we go and now what we have to do is the region i'm going to select the recommended just select that create new project and then after that we have the project here the prisma 7 demo and now let's click the connect right here and i'm going to select orms because i'm using orm prisma and then now we have to just copy everything in here all right just use this copy icon here it's fine and now we can just paste that like this and of course here i'm going to make a comment called superbase and this is going to be for the local here we go so for now just comment that because we are going to use the superbase right now and as you can see here we, ha we have to put this password i'm going to copy that and then paste that here on this string your password paste that and we're done so now let's take a look what we have to do next anyway because now we have this direct url right where we have to put this direct url because now prisma config there's no direct url here what we have to do is uh, let's try to see on the documentation here let's try to see and as you can see here basically we can use this shadow database url right not direct url but shadow database url i'm gonna copy that and then paste that here here we go so for the name, I'm going to use this name right here. I think it's fine. Let's go back and paste that. Here we go. So now if you take a look on the uh, super base here, of course, there is no table. There's no data in here. And that's why what we have to do first is we need to say npx, right? npx prisma generate. And then after that, we need to run npx prisma db push. We can do npx prisma db push. It will basically push the data or, or the schema on the database. Here we go. As you can see, it's like an eight second. Great. So now we can run npm run dev. If you take a look here on the superbase, if I refresh that, we should see one a table in here called post, right? If you take a look here on the um project there's no post if i go back in here of course there's no post as well right uh why this is half of post i'm not sure so we can do like npx npx prisma studio again and hopefully now it should be empty here we go right anyway uh we can add data from here i believe it works and then or we can just add data from the super base we can insert a row here right the id i'm gonna say one title uh this is title from superbase okay and also the create add i'm gonna set it now and the content this is content from superbase superbase database let's click save here and as you can see successfully create a row and now we can just go back here and refresh as you can see we have the data right it's pretty simple and of course on the studio as well we have the data as well that's it that's how you are connecting with superbase 
So thank you so much for watching guys. See you on the next one.